Welcome everyone to the Great Indoors. Today, our adventure takes us to the Ohio State Reformatory in Mansfield, Ohio. Today's video is going to be a little bit different. It's not on the bright side, happy endings. It is going to show what it was like to be incarcerated in the Ohio State Reformatory. And it is pretty sobering. If you're feeling generous, please hit that like button and the subscribe button. And while you're at it, hit the notification bell so you can be kept in the loop. Here's the chapel. Wow. Bird droppings in here. I think the birds are in here more than actually people coming in here. <sighs> Defecating. Oh my god, it's horrible. This is where things get real. You go from the chapel to the cell block. Oh my god, that goes all the way down like that? Yes. That's oh my god. That's why I feel like I'm in Elvis Oh my god. There's so much stuff. Oh, they let you look at one? God. I should have brought my flashlight. I left it. That's that's crazy. Thank you. While Michelle and I were walking through the cell block here, it was hard to not imagine how horrific it was for these guys to be incarcerated in the Mansfield Reformatory. Every morning you wake up on the darkness of the morning because you know that you're not going to be getting sunlight until the afternoon. Michelle is just getting done saying how it's not worth it to get in trouble with the law. And if you end up in a place like this, I would have to totally agree. Look at how confined each one of those places are. In that little toilet. And these people over here there was a guy that was actually inside the wall. I guess it's uh, a place for uh, seclusion or something like that. If you're in trouble, they, they stick you in that little box or that little hole. I don't know. That's that's pretty crazy. But just to think that that guy went in there is even... I don't know what's more crazy for someone, to, an inmate to be put in there or for that guy to climb in there. That was pretty gutsy in this part. And I had no idea what this was over here. I thought it was a container holding weapons or something like that, but who knows? There was no sign saying what it was over there. At this point, we were done walking through the main cell block, and we were going to go into the area where they had other features regarding the Shawshank Redemption. To the left over here was where they made a makeshift tunnel that Andy Dufresne escaped out of in the movie The Shawshank Redemption, which I thought was pretty cool. 
because it was like the 25th anniversary when we were there of the sh shooting of the movie The Shawshank Redemption. That's why there were so many people here today. Now we take you to the infirmary at the Ohio State Reformatory in Mansfield, Ohio. Looking around here, it's hard to believe that this was once a place for healing, considering how nasty, dirty the place is. The floors were full of dirt and dust. Hard to believe that it was a place for healing. But we're about to go into this room over to the left. That one, this one over here, that cage, that straight ahead. I had no idea what it was, but that gentleman was telling me that this was used in riots, that a, a guard would get inside of there and he would use that handle to move around if the situation was getting to be out of control, and that way they could get their way in and out of there without being attacked by the, the inmates while they were in there. So that I thought that was pretty cool, that guy, to let me know that that was used for riot control, that box over there. Michelle is walking out of the building, but to the right, there was this doorway over here, and I could not figure out what was going on in here, and it turned out this was like a panic room for the uh, guards or the doctors. If there was like a riot that was ongoing, they could go into that room over there for protection until the situation was brought under control, because the doctors are moving just doctors, they're not the enforcers of a you know, facility like this, so they needed to keep them safe in a place like that, which I thought was pretty, pretty amazing, but very sobering at the same time. All right, well, we just got done walking for, I don't know, like two hours plus easily at the reformatory, and oh my God, it was an experience. Very real okay the best way to describe it the things that you see these guys and what they went through makes you realize your how important your freedom is and to stay in a prison even in the movies it, it doesn't capture how horrible it is in there for these guys that are in there so do yourself a favor stay out of trouble don't get arrested and put into an ohio reform state reformatory it, it's no picnic in there all right we had a great time. Well, I guess we could say we had a great time. It was a lot of walking. And I think that me and Michelle probably lost at least five pounds by walking in there. It was pretty intense. But yeah, we had a great time over and uh, we have so much more to see. So keep on watching because uh, this is gonna be a, a multi, a lot of videos for this one, I think. And I would just wanna be able to give it its due, you know, because there's just so much to see at the Ohio State Reformatory and the Shawshank Redemption movie filming location. Thanks again for watching, everybody. Hit that thumbs up, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.